Sean, calm the fuck down. You are hype as shit. Why are you so fucking hype, Kayshawn? But when we go career-wise, the taller person did less. Mm. But I can't talk about big dog. I got enough in this building for both of us to eat, champ. Been here twice as long. We should. Twice as long. We started around the same time. You no, just we got did hot not. around JC and when Black Star. Start? Black Star was my fourth battle. Are you dumb? Black Star Theater been, been, been closed for about nine years, nigga. What are you talking when about? When did you start? I'm from Harlem. When did you start? What the fuck is you talking to, nigga? I'm gonna fuck you up, boy. Oh, you give me even more. Oh, because I was. I knew it. I knew it. Good. All right. Good. All right. Good. All right. You hype as shit at the. F Matter of fact, Matter of fact, it's cool. It reminds me of friendly competition. You know how you about to play man with your man? You're like, bro, you can't fuck with me, bro. You ass. If I pick the Panthers, if I pick the Patriots, if I pick the Eagles, you're fucked, bro. Matter of fact, it don't matter who I pick. You so shitty. It don't matter who I pick. That's how shitty you are. And you know, you start screaming and shit, and then you get on the sticks, and you, you know what I mean? Your man lose by, it, it is what it is. That's what it reminded me of, friendly competition. So, at the face-off, you was hype as shit, K-Shine. But you was so hype, even though I liked how you was carrying it, even though I liked the promotion, the marketing strategy that you had, I text cuz, I said, cuz, I want this nigga to lose. I said, cuz, I want this nigga to lose. It was just something about it. It was just like, it was too, it was too much. You feel me? Now, honestly, I'm not going to say that I'm a hater like that. I'm not going to say if you confident in yourself, then I want you to lose. Because I don't like people like that. It's a lot of people like that. If you feel yourself, they like, oh, man, I don't like him because he likes himself. I'm not that type of nigga. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't really like K-Shine like that. I feel like you are hyper, then the bar is good. And if you watch twerk and then watch Kayshawn, you like, damn, not only did Kayshawn still twerk whole style, but he stole the nigga tone of voice. He stole how loud twerk is. If you watch how twerk was moving around Jada Nightwing, Kayshawn even stole the way the nigga moved. Like, damn, do you want his dick that bad? You're on his dick. Like, that is bad. Like, watch how they move. Watch how they talk. Watch the, watch the. How, you know how loud they get how aggressive they get like you stole the nigga whole shit y'all gonna sit there and tell me sean don't sound like twerk and it ain't even just this battle alone like come on bro he's growling his, his rhyme pattern is the same way like sean i don't know if you niggas is, is going to the movies together i don't know what you niggas is doing I, like bro that's like michael jordan trying to play like kyrie irvin matter of fact that's like that's like that's like Michael Jordan trying to play like Lonzo Ball. <laughs> like, weird. You're a fucking vet. Why are you taking a rookie style, especially when your style is fire? Are you that insecure? See, you got to watch out for these people, man. They don't really love themselves. So they have to act like other people because they don't really like how they act normally. They don't really accept themselves. So they like, oh, you're all y'all are accepting this person. I love this person so much. I'm going to act just like I'm talk, just like I'm walk. That's some shit you get away with when you nine years old, 10 years old, you know, before you go to high school. Even when you were in high school, you, you know, you may see a rapper act a certain way. I'm going to talk like I'm going to dress like I'm a nigga. You're a grown ass man. You're trying to act like a nigga that's 10 years younger than you. That's like. If my kids have company and then they bring this these cool ass kids over and I just start acting like the kids. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, you're hyper than the bars are good. And then these your fans are so uncreative. Your fans lack creativity to the point where you could be that hype and the bar could be average as shit and they'll love that shit. You know wanna know why? Because they can't rap. The fans can't rap, so if you say anything that's average and make it sound like it's fire, they're going to say it's fire. Nigga, it was average at best. <laughs> like that ugly-ass bitch. <laughs> just, just like that ugly-ass bitch that was talking to Kevin. It was average at best. Don't do that. Average-looking woman. I mean, my body is not average, so... But you're... Ma'am, you, please don't make me say it. Say what? I really just wanted some advice. I love your you, I'm giving you I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. 
The I'm, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. Chilla Jones with the 30 on a legend. That's like loaded luck skin 30. K Shine getting 30 is like loaded luck skin 30. Y'all remember when John John Adon, he had an interview a couple months ago. He said, I'm going to retire soon because I don't want to mess up my legacy. You know, so I'm battling with that and I'm battling with legacy. And, and you know what makes more sense? The most I would do is two more. They talking to me about two more. Uh, we're going to see how we feel. I said, John, John and Don, shut the fuck up. Just battle. What are you talking about? Your legacy, nigga. You're that nigga. Just battle. And then like a like, yo, bro, you got to watch what you say because a certain experiences will be created. Certain experiences will be created based off of what you're saying today. Right after John, John and Don said that he got scheduled to battle ill will and he got 30 by ill will. That was a body. I was trying to remember the last time somebody got bodied like Kayshawn got bodied. And it was John John Adon. Ill Will was talking crazy. The same way Chilla Jones was talking crazy. They was talking spicy. Body. Chilla Jones with the 30-30. And you know what I mean? Like, Kayshawn, don't do that. Remember your legacy is on the line. You, you said, uh, Surf said, K Shine is not only battling Chilla Jones, but he's trying to make sure that he sounds better than DNA. DNA is his real competition. Nigga, Chilla Jones had the performance of the night. And who came second to that? DNA. Where did you fall down down the lines of that? I don't fucking know. Av may have rap better than you. I don't first of all, I don't even understand most of the shit you're fucking saying. If everybody won't understand what you're saying, delete the fucking delete the line, bro. Erase what you're saying. Like, I'm not going to say some other shit and expect a lot of people to get it if I know everybody didn't see what I saw to make me come up with that bar. Like, be understandable. Don't speak in Chinese to people that speak English and then expect for them to understand your language. Like, I, a lot of y'all battle rappers do that shit. Y'all be saying all kind of shit. And I'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But regardless of me not knowing what you're talking about, even though even when I do know what you're talking about, it's not good enough. The way Chilla Jones was rapping, the pacing, the delivery, the creativity, he would say a bar and five seconds later, you'd be like, oh, shit. It would click five seconds later and it would get to you. It would get to your fucking heart. Every bar, you was just standing up out your seat like, what the fuck? How the fuck is this nigga rapping like that? You will never see a battle where Chilla Jones rap this good. This is the best Chilla ever. Chilla, you stay like this, and you are top tier for real. This nigga Chilla Jones was rapping like Arsenal in 2012. You remember Arsenal and Shoddy Horror? Remember when Arsenal was just like the face of battle rap? Before Loaded Lux was the face? I don't know. Who was the face first? Who was the face of battle rap for his Loaded Lux or Arsenal? Well, it was a long period of time where battle rap was Arsenal. That's how Chilla Jones was rapping. Like, battle rap was Chilla Jones. Now, one of the main problems I had with Chilla Jones is this Foreman Mills outfit that he had on. This Foreman Mills sweatsuit. Nigga was dressing like he gets paid $500 to battle. Listen, when Smack calls you, raise your price. You started $500 a battle. You started a stack of battle. When he calls you, tell that nigga... Shotgun Shook is getting 10 grand a battle. If you're rapping better than Shook, if you've been bodying niggas for as long as Shook has, ask for 12 grand, ask for 15 grand. Goods is getting 18 grand to battle. And Chilla Jones, you rap better than Goods. Nigga, can you please get dressed like you worth something? You getting dressed like you standing in line at the poppy store in the middle of the projects with me. Like, can you rap like you live in the suburbs, nigga? Nigga, you rap like you got a 1998 Buick Century with 200,000 miles on it. Can you rap like you can afford a fucking Challenger at least? Can you rap like you drove a Corvette or an Escalade before without renting it out? Can you rap like a business owner? This nigga rap like he fucking work at McDonald's. I mean, he dressed like he work at McDonald's and shit. Like, nigga, dress like you worth. You don't got to get fly because a lot of niggas not into fashion. But at least put a black tee on and some nice jeans. You feel me? Get a shape up. Nigga, that's only $50 right there. This nigga had a sweatsuit on. Looked like it was... A $30 sweat. Matter of fact, the sweatsuit looked like it was worth $16.99. Looked like it was on a clearance rack with the red tag on the tag. You know how you put the tag on the tag because the price changed from $29.99 to $16. Yeah. Chilla Jones, don't stop wearing this dumbass shit, man. You that nigga, bro. 
Matter of fact, you rap so fucking good, I don't even give a fuck about the outfit. Wear the Foreman Mills outfit every time if you're going to rap like that. I don't even give a fuck. Nigga sleeves rolled up to his elbows and shit. Maybe that mean he about to go in. I don't know. Maybe the outfit is what <laughs> made him feel like he was going to be that nigga that night. But it was a Chilla Jones night. That was a performance of the night, nigga. Matter of fact, it's 2021. That was the performance of the year. And Arsenal, you you and that motherfucker acting weird as shit. You acting all awkward. Yeah, live with Arsenal the Rebel. Yep. Fresh off this battle, Fresh Valiant off, Seven. Danny Myers. Mm -hmm. How you feeling, Arsenal? I'm feeling great, my nigga. I'm feeling wonderful. I feel amazing. I'm trying to try hurry up and watch this battle back. Like, yeah. I'm ready to see that. Um, is it what you expected? Definitely. Definitely. Hell yeah. Nigga, did you see you hear what the shit I was in this saying, nigga? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on. Chilla Jones with the dirty 30. K Shine, it's time to be humble. Stop being so fucking hype. Find yourself. Find yourself. Why would you take Twerk style this far? Like I said, when you was Professor Shine and you had on a scientist outfit, that's K Shine. Beat K Shine. Now, let's get to these balls so y'all can feel us. If y'all not familiar with this, this is called the double helix. It's the same setup that this nigga used with his lyrics. But I'm going to show you how to take this DNA with this DNA and compare it. You use one solid bar and try to make it a setup. Then use words that coincide to make it look better. Then end it with a wavy line so y'all think that he clever. But I don't know how you fucking y'all head up when it's just like the setup. A double helix. Two wavy lines with little bars in between and keep them together. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Reinvent yourself. It's time for a reinvention. I understand that you are undefeated and the whole world loves you. That's completely fine. But it's fucked up that the whole world loves you and you dictate Twerk's whole style. That's like the whole world loving designer when he was acting like Future. That you can't accept all love because all love isn't a reflection of reality. And in reality, people don't love you. They love the style that you took. Please, man, come back as K Shine, not K Twerk, not New Jersey Shine. Be yourself, bro. Be yourself, man. Go back in the day, watch some old K Shine shit and be like, yo, you know what? It's time for me to hop back in my bag and come out because you just embarrassed yourself. You lost by 5,000 every round. It hurts bad enough when I lose by 14 and 2K. You lost by like 5,000 every round. And you know you got your ass whooped because you told Jay Black, we don't even care about the votes, man. We out. You know what it was? You got fucked up. Then you walking around the joint. Chilla, you promised me you would 30 me. Remember? You promised you would 30 me. Yo, he promised on the live stream. Yo, yo. Yo, he said Come he over here. Promised yo, that when did I right? promise? Yo, you heard the promise, right? You said. You heard the promise, right? What did he say? I didn't hear. What did he, he say? He promised that he was going to tell me? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you promised that on the face of it. Yes, you did, man. Oh, my God. You asked that. No, man. Ain't nobody asked that. Yo, you said you, you, said you promised, bro. Listen to me. You said 10 to 3 only. I said, I said yes. yeah. You said, I said you said, promised. You, you, said, you said yes. I said you promised. You said yes. That was weird. You sound like a nigga girlfriend when, it, when, it, when a nigga got... When a nigga got a girl that love him to death, but he disappointed her. That's what you sound like. You really was walking around after the face off. You promised you would 30 me. You promised me, chilla. Weird. Why the fuck do you sound like that? And why do you, yes, he 30 you. You you have been you have been 30, my guy. And you my nigga. Don't curse me the fuck out. You my nigga. You just got your ass whooped. After you said you about to whoop some ass. So you deserve it. If you didn't get that hype about it, we wouldn't have to go in on you like this. You know how hype you was? You got so fucking loud and tough and got beat the fuck up. I wipe all my tears before I put on my gloves. Cause it hurt when you gotta kill a nigga you love? Well, I want you to know how I feel since I'm in that position. I feel like Nino Brown, nigga. Minus all of the snitching. G Money, we could have been getting lump sums of bread. You let one of your bitches that I'm dicking fuck with your head. Now instead of getting work, you didn't work. Getting fucked up instead. You mean to tell me that measly bitch creeping is the reason that whole operation dead? Instead of expressing your feelings, you give your dogs up to the fans? That's why when you say, am I my brother's keeper? I look you square in your eye, nigga, and say, yes, I and then you went to the head. Hey, Clutch, you condone this shit? Clutch, Clutch, you condone this shit? We were supposed to be like brothers. We made this car to look good. We was holding down each other. We let a nigga infiltrate. He ended up being undercover. Now, everybody going down. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. And considered, I never liked you anyway. Pretty motherfucker. Ah!